The other day, a friend of mine asked me to join his basketball team. I really want to play, but when I was younger, I had two knee reconstructions. So I'm going to go speak to Marty, one of our coaches. He's going to give me some moves so I can warm up and get my knees functioning properly so I don't injure myself. Let's go check it out. Today I'm going to take Nick through an exercise program that will help him play basketball more efficiently, safer. He's got some issues that we found in his assessment that he's had some knee problems in the past, but he still wants to go out and play basketball. So I'm going to show him three exercises today he can do to go out and be a little bit safer on the basketball court. First exercise we're going to start with is a calf stretch. So Nick, if you can go ahead and put your hands right on the machine. Take us one normal length stride back and go ahead and turn your foot now and your right foot. Turn it to like if you're looking at a clock at 11 o'clock. Drive that heel down, keep the knee nice and straight and turn this out gently. Now you're going to hold that for at least 30 seconds. Next exercise we're going to move into with Nick is single leg balance. It's going to be very important for Nick to be able to stand on one leg and keep his foot and ankle, knee and hip in the right position, especially when he's playing basketball, moving at high speeds and jumping and landing off one leg a lot of the times. We don't always jump and land off two legs. So <laughs> first thing Nick I want you to do is just stand right on your left foot, hands on the hips. What you're going to do now is just gently move your right foot out a little bit further, point your toe. Point your toe towards the ground, hold for one to two seconds, bring it right back without touching. Now you're going to come out the side towards me, pause, and let's repeat that three to five times without ever putting your foot on the ground. Whole time what I want you to do is to keep your body straight, hips level, abs in, don't hold your breath and just keep that position. And you're going to start to see that the muscles around his foot and ankle start working a lot more. You're probably going to feel that in your hip as well. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're teaching the foot, ankle, knee and hip to communicate with each other. So that way when he lands on one leg, his foot and knee and hip know where to be. So that way it just keeps your knee in a better position, sure. keeping you safer on the basketball court. I really court. feel it in my hip. My yep. hip's really yeah. warming up. Glute muscle really uh, has a lot to do with how the knee functions. Last exercise we're going to do to get Nick on the basketball court warm is we're going to call it jump to balance. So what he's going to do is he's going to jump off two legs, land quietly, and I'm going to teach him how to land perfectly, keeps his feet straight ahead, belly button in, let his glutes do all the work, and we're going to hold that position for three to five seconds. So as he lands, he lands properly, safely, and your body gets used to how to hold that position. Eventually we can make you move quicker and quicker, but right now it's just teaching how to hit the ground safely. I just took five minutes and completed those exercises and I feel warmed up and ready to take on this match. It should be part of anyone's warm up for any game. It's only five minutes out of your time, like I said. Remember to connect with us. I'm Nick Davey for KTV.